Hi, it's Illusion again from Illusion Info Blog, and uh, today I'll show you another cross-site scripting vulnerability in my BB. It's the latest version. Um, I can actually show you. It's the latest version, 169. Today is the 20th of February, February 2013, and it's the latest release up to this day. So I'll log into the admin area just to show you. So it's the 169 release. And the vulnerability is uh, through get method, uh, which is the most widely used method for cross site scripting, is, um, is the easiest way. However, it's not available for all users, only the admins can view it and anybody who has access to the debug page. However, uh, that's no limit for the attackers because the attackers are most likely will attack <coughs> admins anyway, so that's not a limit. So um, let me search here. You click search and search for test. Now, as you can see, uh, we have a few parameters here. We've got the action result. We're going to keep this one. We've got the uh, session ID, which we can delete, and that's our vulnerable point. And we can delete the sort by an order, because we won't need that. And instead of that, we will put debug equals 1. That means that we want to view the debug page. I'll delete that and I'll put there the basic tag. Now, um, what I found out is that uh, it actually escapes uh, quotes. <clears throat> it uses the uh, JavaScript uh, escaping. Uh, so we can, well, I uh, have to use uh, this bypassing method. I execute that. As you can see, we get the uh, alert box. Uh, I know that using alert box for proving cross-site scripting uh, isn't really good. If you want to see um, how deadly non-persistent cross-site scripting can actually be, you can view it on my blog. I will put link to, um, in the description. Also, I'll make a blog post about this vulnerability and how to make a quick fix uh, before my BB releases official patch. Have a nice day.